a recent successful TV game show surprised the world for its mathematical implications. At the game end, the player had the possibility to win a big prize, a car, choosing among three doors. But it was not so simple. After the player choice, the host did open another door, showing that behind it was not the prize but the loss, symbolized by a goat. Then the player had an offer. You can still change your choice. The probabilistic problem is, what is better, keep or change? The correct answer is that it's better to change, but the surprising result is the big advantage because the win probability rises from one-third not changing to two-thirds changing. A new probability paradox is born. The probability is mathematically defined as the number of favorable possibilities divided by the number of total possibilities. For a clear calculation, it is better to start with a generic number of n doors. The player chooses one door. If he keep as a winning door and then minus one losing doors. One winning over n total makes a probability of one divided by n, that is one third with three doors. Let's go ahead. The host opens one of the remaining n minus one doors. Here is a bifurcation. The host, which knows where the prize is, and this is the key of the game and of the match, can open any of the n minus one remaining doors only if the player has chosen the winning one as the first shot. Otherwise, it can open only one of the n minus two losing doors, or the game ends immediately. In formulas, if the player changes as n possibility at first shot and then minus two at second. Total number of possibilities is n times n minus two. If he did choose the winning door at first shot, changing it has n minus two losing possibilities. n minus the first winning discarded choice minus the door opened by the host. If he did choose a losing door at first shot, changing it has one winning possibility and n minus three losing possibilities. n minus the first discarded choice minus the winning choice minus the door opened by the host. But to be multiplied by n minus one, the number of initial losing doors. Let's make the sum. n minus one wins. n minus one times n minus three plus n minus two losses. n minus two times n total wins plus losses. The winning probability accordingly is n minus one divided by n times n minus two. When n equals three, the result is two third. One could observe that with two doors to choose between, the win probability should be one half. This is true, but one door belongs to the no chance strategy, with its win probability of one third. The other belongs to the chance strategy, with its win probability of two thirds. Accordingly, the requested value of one half is the weighted average of both strategies. When n equals two, the game is not possible, because not always the host can open a losing door. Accordingly, for n equals two, the formula becomes meaningless. When n rises to infinity, the result approximates one divided by n. The supplementary information supplied by the host opening a door becomes less and less important. Here is the philosophy vehiculated by this paradox. When you interact with others, your choice generates countermeasures. At this moment, not always but often, the best counter countermeasure is to change the initial choice in opposition to general belief that is better to keep straight. Another example of counterintuitive truth. 